Welcome to Red35 and today we are looking at this, the Polaroid Originals One Step 2 VF. In late 2017, Polaroid Originals released the One Step 2 camera, which is the successor to the original One Step back in the 90s. Uh, it was a much better product compared to the earlier iType camera and certainly it's a successful camera as well because a lot of people were bought into it and you know it was a very popular thing because it's also got a very attractive price as well. But several months in, you know, like Polar Region realized that they could actually improve the camera a little bit, which now I have it right here. This is the latest version or the enhanced version of the One Step 2, which has a designation of VF, which stands for Viewfinder. Supposed to make it a little bit better. Let's go and find out now. bump into just now and you are I'm Lara Flatman of at photo feature on Twitter and photo dot feature Instagram we're gonna put all her social data down in the description so you can check out you know everything that she does is an awesome awesome woman and she loves Billingham and she uses Polaroid as well which is what we're gonna talk about today and what, what, what do you know about Polaroid well I used to shoot well, I still shoot with my Hasselblad so yep. I always have Polaroid and um, so I love shooting with Polaroid and I've got a second and a half timer actually. Uh, which is one and a half seconds yeah. uh, to count Polaroid. But now Instagram's come in, I still print off my Instagram pictures yeah, yeah, and yeah, put them yeah. in my Polaroid book. Yeah, so cool. So I still keep all my pictures because with digital photography, you still need a Polaroid kind of thing. I, I always like physical stuff, isn't it? You know, and you can yeah. smell it as well. Smell Even it, see it, touch it. Printer, you can smell it. But Polaroid, I've got a land camera. And what yeah. did you call it? What was the number of it? Uh, oh, they've they got several versions though, oh, the, the land camera. Mine's brown and leatherette. So yeah. It folds yeah. Is the one that falls out? Falls yeah, out yeah, 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 and yeah. Um, it's quite pricey, I believe. Um, <laughs> I'm never going to sell it, by the way. Don't even ask. This is a collector's item, you know. I love it. And um, why am I whispering? I'm not whispering. <laughs> and, um, but that's so old school. I love it because it is so proper old school fashion sort of. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, right there. You know, this this is not old school at all. This has just released this month. I love it because it looks old school. <laughs> so it fool you, yeah? It looks like one of the 1990 ones, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let but me I bet it's got a lot of modern techno stuff on it. Uh, well, frankly, no. It, it, <laughs> yeah. uh, apart from it has an LED counter instead of a physical counter. Oh yeah, 10, 9, 8, yep. 7. And when it gets to zero, you go, oh my god. Yeah, exactly. So apart from that, it's still pretty much an old school camera. There's nothing really complicated about it. No, no. They obviously Obviously now instead of uh, you have to buy batteries, you know, like, you know what those are all um, uh, 600 type uh, yeah. uh, um, a film which has the built-in battery in the cartridge. Yes, yes. This one that doesn't use it anymore. It has a built-in lithium-ion battery. Oh, so you recharge it. You recharge it with USB. Oh, much better. So this is um, kind of, yeah, modern tech. Modern tech. Modern tech, tech for batteries. old school camera. Yeah. Uh, but we are looking at this. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this little Do new thing. P um, Polo Original actually released this last year but it was the very original version and this is the updated version of it so uh, it now includes the little thing here which stands for viewfinder so this is kind of having a new designation now so it's now called one step to vf the la the viewfinder. one that, yeah the, the the one that they released last year was only called one step 2 so yeah this is the only that's the only difference you know the two cameras are the same you know i love a viewfinder i i when i i teach photography quite a bit and i'm always telling people get in the viewfinder because it blocks off all the other nonsense and shenanigans going around your life i've got all these people passing us by but when you're in the viewfinder you're really concentrating and you're really composing the picture yep. and as you're doing one piece of paper and it's pricey it's not it's oh. cheap to do polaroids it never has been no um you want to get it right of the course. first time. Yes. Well, 
To be frank, I think in any photography, you try to get it right the first time anyway. I think that's the best practice. I couldn't even if I tried. Let's talk about the build quality of this one step two and just like all their latest uh, uh, cameras they're all plastic construction which is very much like the original uh, uh, Polaroids in the 90s you know they're all plastic made uh, but you know I have to say that you know it's very well put together and there's certainly no rattles or anything like that you just squeeze it it doesn't squeak or anything like that and and yeah, it should be okay, you know, like, although they having said that, you know, like any instant cameras that I wouldn't recommend dropping it, so you do have to look after it. Honey, bunny, why are you walking away? Baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. Stop and run around, oh, you act like a kid. I am not your mama, just admit what you did. The image quality of the One Step 2 VF is, well, first of all, is obviously is identical to last year's One Step 2 because there's nothing changed apart from the additional viewfinder there. But in general, you know, I think uh, Polaroid cameras actually produce some very pleasingly sharp images compared to some of the Insex rivals, uh, bar the Leica or the uh, some of the Fuji cameras. But you know, uh, when you compare it directly to Lomo cameras, for instance, uh, sometimes they use some uh, you know just normal plastic uh, lenses, which actually quite soft. You know, if you look at them just outright like this. Uh, I know some Lomo cameras have glass lenses and they are a lot sharper. But in general, I think the image quality from this camera is actually quite pleasing and I, I, I'm not complaining about image quality. Do not shake. Do not shake. Shield from light. Always put it in between your thighs. Yeah, or stick it into your bum and just don't sit on or it. Or stick it in your bottom. But yeah. Don't, sit, it don't, gets... don't sit on it. And I took one shot earlier but that's that's one shot from there. I like it. Yeah. It's, what it... a great colour. I mean I always thought Polaroid had that more bluier colour than the other company. It's different isn't it? It's different. Yeah, the other yeah. company was slightly redder and a bit more Mulch, yeah, but that's more romantic. Yeah, I like the word romantic. Romantic, romantic. definitely the word. But it's so cute and it works and it's, it's funky. It's a, isn't it? Isn't it a romantic camera? It is because it's so it's nostalgic and it's really and I love the fact that you've got this. Oh, it's it's so <laughs> clear. It's not. That's horrible. the new. That, that's the new viewfinder. Not like the that's old one, amazing. isn't it? <laughs> you find out. I don't think I can even see through the flatty bit because it's, it's yeah. right next to the world and you can scratch it. Yep. Um, yep. But I like it and I like you did come with straps and you hang it around and it clunks as you walk in. <laughs> love all that. Clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> I think it's great and I'm so pleased that they've, they've brought new one out and they're continuing to do it. I'm oh yeah, yeah. Well, this, this is brand new. You can actually get it. So, you know, which is cool. Go and get one. You know that's 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 and it's so that's fun as well. It's like you can put it in your bag. I know, I know, and it's perfect, perfectly fitted for this. It is perfect <laughs> for that. That's great. You can put one camera and one Polaroid. Yep. And the thing about getting that Polaroid out there now, see so what you photograph it with your phone. Is that what you do? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, unfortunately. But I like the size. Um, because the uh, some other Polaroid cameras have got well instant cameras have got smaller size film yeah and that's a proper oh, size the, the, square. In, the Instax which we'll, we'll talk about Instax yeah 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 definitely yeah, yeah so that's a small narrow film and I find that really insignificant really insignificant but that is a completely proper on your fridge picture well, Polaroid is the granddaddy of all instant photography it really is yeah it so really you know is. nothing compares to it nothing no well. Something. <laughs> cool. And it's ten, ten films per. No, it's eight. It's eight shots. Eight shots. Eight yeah. Shots. Eight. Yeah. Eight film per pack. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I've got like eight dots now. So th this camera, in terms of features, you know, I know it's. I said that you know it's actually quite a basic camera. You know, it does have the LED countdown, like I said. Also has a timer. 
Eight. Time is really important. How many seconds? Eight, eight seconds. Brilliant, which allows so just you to run enough time to run ends. back. <laughs> just to run back. So as long as you've allocated a space for you to yeah. run back to your friends, which they never do, by the way. Oh, I always make sure I get a space. I'm yeah. Usually in the front, like lying in the front. <laughs> um, but that's perfect. And has it got a tripod stand? It does have a tripod stand. Yes. yes. <laughs> and which fits on all those little crabby little spidery ones you yeah. get now. Yeah. Which is what everyone's kind of carrying around for ease. Yeah. Um, no, I like it. Yeah, and uh, apart from that, I think it, it, it's just very similar. Oh, it's got the exposure compensation. It's got lighter and darker, just like the original. Yeah. You know, you get that little dial before, you know, you just like, slide it across. It always reminds me of those pinhole cameras. Because, we, you know, did you ever make a box? Camera, oh yeah, camera. yeah, yeah. So with, the, with the pinhole camera, you, you have a shoe box, and then you you, you sell it all up, and then you put your your, your paper in, and it's, so to expose it, you have a. a tin foil and then you put a little hole in and if you've been exposing it for a, a, a few minutes and it still doesn't expose properly you make the hole just a little bit bigger which is exactly what this is plus or minus so it's yep. opening the aperture and closing the aperture yeah so basic and i love it that but, way but that's that's so what basic about, yeah. and i love it that way yeah no in, in fact you know this is a good way to learn about photography you know sometimes i think you know more than the cameras if you buy like a digital camera for instance too complex sometimes you know like it's overwhelming this is to teach you how to read the light you know like and also and compose, compose, and compose yes wait I, for the moment and do it and get that decisive moment because I have so many people come up to me and say oh I used to shoot film with my SLR camera but now I've got a DSLR I don't know how to use I just stick it on automatic <laughs> which is crazy I know it's I crazy because it's, it's they've got to be able to learn too much light not enough light no no get it in frame too much light, not enough light. Yep, yep. And like I always say, simpler the better. One more thing about the instant camera is about handling, you know, like as you can tell, this is a very boxy shape and uh, I don't know how to describe it. You know, when you hold it in your hand, you, you don't, you know, if you're very a traditional photographer like myself, you know, like who are used to holding uh, kind of like a SLR type camera with a big grip or even rangefinder, like a square box, this is nothing like that. You know, it's, it's kind of got really sharp angles everywhere. And, and when, you, when you're trying to hold it, you, you really don't know where you put your hands on. However, you know, like, I, I do think that is not too bad once you are uh, accustomed to the actual shape of it. I mean, I, these days I actually try to put my two fingers kind of grip hold, hold on to the side of it and have my middle finger touching the shutter button and my thumb actually resting at the back. So that will hold it quite securely and uh, using my left hand just to stabilize it. So that would work quite well, but that's only for me. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very odd shape. Um, but Having said that though, you know, this new VF version, you know, the new viewfinder does help a lot because the older one hasn't got the viewfinder, so especially like glass, um, glasses wearer like myself, without the viewfinder it's going to be very very tricky to put your eye really close to the actual window itself, that means you can never actually see uh, uh, you know, that well through the little window here, so it, that may not be so good but with the viewfinder it's a lot better. And having said that, it does include two uh, strap locks here, so you know you can kind of put your strap and hang into your chest. So it's, it's actually quite okay. However, you know, like, let me show you the strap that comes with the camera, and that's one reason why I'm not using it. This, this, this is the strap. Uh, uh, seriously, it is. It. it I, I know it's a hundred and ten pound camera, but. It, this this is like a string you know and and okay this is not heavy but this is gonna dig into your neck he's gonna like you know give you red marks around your neck this is not very good you know i, I mm, no i'm not gonna use that you know, I, th I think i'm gonna use something else
let's talk about the price of it you know in the UK it's retail for 110 pound which I think is actually quite reasonable and competitive in today's instant photography market when you're comparing to the likes of uh, Fuji's uh, Instax camera and Lomography Instax I know they are different technology very different cameras very different films uh, but you know in terms of instant photography is quite comparable and uh, certainly very capable uh, but you know this is something you have to consider is the ongoing running cost of the films which the this is comes into the polar origin this is quite expensive because they are 15 to 16 pound per pack for eight shots so you're looking at about two pound per print while the instax depending on what what format you're going for either for the uh, mini square or the wide uh, uh you know it cost significantly less compared to the polo originals films uh, you know it's, it's okay you know and uh, certain different look and feel depending on which one you prefer you know I have no problem recommending the Polaroid or actually the Instax you know and uh, you just have to see uh, you know from sample images you know see what sort of color tone you're actually craving for um, I personally quite like the original look because they uh, it's give you that kind of faded um, uh, more magenta uh, tones to it and it just give you the edge over the uh, more modern film looking Instax films so you know it's, it's all in all I think it's pretty pretty good and in terms of the camera and uh, you know this is actually quite good you know I have used uh, some other cameras before and the one step to VF is actually quite a lot better compared to the older V uh, one step two because of the viewfinder I'm a glass wearer so it's a lot better like I mentioned before and uh, and compared to even the i1 you know I actually think the simpler version of the uh, the Polaroid is actually a lot better uh, in terms of uh, performance and yeah sometimes I think less is more definitely If you like the video you just saw it and you want to see more instant photography review, remember to click the subscribe button there and turn on your notifications so you know when the new video is coming out. Until next time, see you then, bye! After a few months, you know, they realized that there are some improvements that can actually make to make it uh, to make the one step a little bit better in a way. So, uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, which we're gonna go through that, you know, slightly uh, you know, in a little bit of a <laughs> this thing in the UK is retail for 109 pounds. Which, no, is that and uh, but it, it certainly has that cool quirky kind of uh, retro looking thing to it so uh, it's very charming that's <laughs> pleasingly sharp images and uh, as you can see some of the test images uh, test, test images that <laughs> I <laughs> cool you get a whole memory lane Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is it ready yet? Well, it's not, that, not that quick. I'm telling you, it takes about 15 minutes. Oh, la la. <laughs> I'm, hold, I'm holding there just to see it counting. God, that hurts. Jeez. Thing, you know. <laughs> Not good. You know, you have to think about also the technology and also the film prices, which is the other thing of it. No, I have to start again. So you should probably try it and give it a go and, and uh, yeah, just try it. <laughs> Remember to click the subscribe button there and also turn on your notifications so you know when a new camera the simplest camera in the world and it's the best camera in the world <laughs> <laughs>